Hey guys and gals, how are ya? Von Baden back with another video for Nightmare Creations. So, this video I'm going to cover the paint that I did for the Airbus shield. So, stay tuned. All right, here we are again. Another week has passed, another fun-filled week. And we are talking about the Airbus shield here and the paint job. Show you the back. And all of the paint on this, except for the muddying it up the the dirt aspect dirt and grime on this is all done with plaid fx paints i am not a paid sponsor um i just love their paints and that's my go-to paint unless i don't have that color but um the grime was done with a flat acrylic paint Everything else was done with Plaid FX paint. So, let's get started here. In the previous video I did talk about, I did two, two or three coats of Plasti Dip on this to um, prepare it for the paint. The, there's a couple different golds here. We have this Golden Hour which is the lighter of the golds that is done on the rivets and I, you could definitely see there is a difference between this gold and this gold um, the gold here is gold gold coin which is a bit darker when you compare the two and these are um, metallic paints the armored metallic from from them from Plaid FX now this is a smooth satin and this paint is called doomsday and it is a gray and that is what all of this wood or fake wood is made of then we have a couple of mutant shifts here and this is the only side that I'm kind of not I mean it looks good I like it but um, this center part not the blue but the center is done with this mutant shift that is called Immune Blue. And it gives you that very, uh, I guess, iridescent look on there, which actually looks really cool. But then when I did the Oh, well, I actually should cover. And then also from their uh, armor metallics is this copper, which is copper plate, which all of the trim on the shield is done. Because I want it to come out looking copper. Um, then we went through and we used this Amino Aqua, which is kind of a bluish green. And it is also a mutant shift. And that is done on the weathering of all of this. After that was all said and done, I went through and did a, um, 
Mod Podge high gloss sealer on this to seal all in that yummy goodness. I was wanting to add some blood gore onto this, but after seeing how well this came out, I kind of am fine with not doing that. I am going to add some fur to the inside of this for the armholes. So when the arm goes through, it'll have some armholes. But for the most part, this is now finished. So, um, previous video I did mention that the shield um, is a Templar shield um, appearance, uh, shape and whatnot. Usually their shields were more um, made of metal. This one is not, um, well, it's not even made of wood, but you know that. Anyways, I'm digressing here, but I showed you how to make all the damage and the wood grain, and I really like how that all came out. Um, very, very cool. So, hopefully you've enjoyed this video and you'd like to see some of the other stuff that I'm working on, the armor. Um, now that I've got a better gold, I'm gonna be able to finish the skull for the Daybreaker sword. So stay tuned for that as well. Um, and I will see you all on the very next video. Thanks. Bye. See you later.